long story short, uh, it, it feels good playing this game. It feels good playing this MMO. It's, it's very... Uh, coming from me, a guy who doesn't really like MMOs anymore, it, it, it feels good playing this. It feels good to be able to play an MMO and uh, not have that feeling of just grinding and grinding just to get the next level, to get that next set of armor, to get that next weapon. It, it doesn't feel like that, which is amazing, which is great. You must be Cadwell. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look how cool this guy looks. He kind of reminds me of, um, let's see, I feel like they might be making a reference to Man of La Mancha with this guy, because of the, the beard and the mustache and the golden helmet of Mambrino he's got, he's rocking right there, <laughs> but I can't confirm that, I don't know for sure, and his name is Cadwell, which has nothing to do with uh, Man of La Mancha, but I'm going to go on believing it, because I like that idea. <laughs> okay. So we've got our mission from Sir Cadwell. We've got to go around, and uh, we've got to uh, kind of go through. And this is where they kind of introduce uh, another aspect of the game, uh, which is uh, a thing that happened in the Elder Scrolls all the time, which was, uh, like, traps. Like, little traps that are lying around in wait for you to step on a, uh, uh, step on a pressure plate and all that stuff, which is annoying as hell. Uh, but this is where they kind of showcase that. Uh, in this little hallway right here, as well as um, lock picking, I believe uh, the first uh, case that you can lock pick is in this cavern, but I am not sure. I don't remember. Um, in any case, uh, lock picking in this game is a lot is really fun. Uh, it's very different. Uh, well, I guess it's not different. I think it goes back to uh, what Oblivion's um, kind of setup was, but I can't remember. I haven't played Oblivion in a long time. Uh, but yeah, you can see the traps here that uh, are just kind of on a timer. Uh, there's... Uh, how'd she get hit by that? She was way over there. Uh, uh, they're not on a, on a uh, pressure plate or anything. They're just kind of timed. Um, and you can uh, dodge roll by uh, double-clicking the uh, forward button, uh, W, or whatever you're using. Whoa, what the... Oh, hello. Oh, sorry, I forgot you were there. Let's see. Let's see if we can find this, uh... Whoa, oh dear. <sighs> Almost got hit by that. Uh, let's see if we can find this chest that's, uh, locked. I don't think I'll be able to. I very much doubt it. Uh, but if I don't, I will, uh, find one somewhere else and put in a little clip of it. Uh, because I very much like it. It's a lot more... It's a lot more challenging because it's on a timer. And, uh, it's... I don't know. I feel like it's much more fun because it's a lot more interactive rather than, uh, just, uh, clicking around and uh, spinning around some dials. Not to say that I didn't like the uh, lock picking in Skyrim, because I did. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but this is just something new. Something new. And new is, uh, new is good. The Prophet's Cage, should be just Prophet's ahead. cage is just ahead. Oh, man, I... Nope, I didn't find one. Didn't find one to unlock. Sorry, guys. All right, let's see. All right, so this is the Prophet's Chamber, as you can see. Uh, and there is the, ch uh, is the prophet, just kind of uh, floating around in the middle there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, skip over this part as to not give any spoilers on how to complete the mission and uh, come back to you guys uh, in a bit. All right, here we are. Uh, got the prophet free, uh, and here we are trying to get out of uh, Cold Harbor. Uh, Mullet Ball's Oblivion Plane. I'm still, this is my second time going through this part of the game, and I'm still floored by the, the graphical, the graphical settings, the, just the graphical fidelity of this entire room. Uh, it's, it's really something to behold. It's amazing. I very much recommend, uh, getting into this game. I, I think I'm probably going to get into it as well once it actually comes out, um, but we'll see since I am so burned out on MMOs, but I'm very much enjoying this one. Uh, even the missions, like, even the missions in the game, they don't feel uh, grindy, they don't feel piddly, like, here's a mission, go do it, here's a mission, go do it. It still has that, it very much has that open world type of feel, uh, in that it has a main quest, 
and uh, it has, and then it has a bunch of side quests that you can do. And there's still a couple of guilds that you can join and stuff like that. Um, so, as I've said, whoa, whoa, there's Moloch Ball. Whoa, cool. I didn't actually look up at him last time. Wow, that's creepy. Wow, Jesus. All right. Oh, and here's the first uh, kind of mini boss battle with the with a gorgon. Ah, oh, gorgon. Uh, so yeah, there's that gorgon boss. Very cool. Oh, I like her scale markings. Those are really cool. Okay, so talking to the prophet. Let's see. The dark anchor shot of it. Yes, 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 yes. That's very true, Dumbledore. Thank you for telling me those those words that I listened to. Oh yeah, he gets he talks to Akatosh here, kind of. Oh no, wait, this is where we get our corporeal form. Because uh, right now we're just kind of a, uh, we're a, uh, we're a spirit. Uh, because we got put into this plane of oblivion by uh, someone. Uh, and here's what we use to get our uh, physical form back, apparently. And there's a couple more in the world that you have to collect as well, as kind of a side thing. Uh, for every three sky shards you collect, your character will gain an extra skill point. Oh, okay, so yeah, you get more skills. More skills. I didn't really pursue that the first time I was playing, so let's see. Uh, thank you, Prophet, for giving me back my uh, corporeal form. Uh, I need that to uh, to do things with, uh, you know, like uh, uh, eat and uh, sleep. So that's nice. Thank you very much. Activate the anchor. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to Tamriel uh, through this which is uh, one of Malag Ball's anchors, which is <clears throat> something really cool that happens in the game, like uh, random instances, but uh, I'll talk about that in a minute once I activate it and we, uh, we go back home to Tamriel. And here he is praying to Akatosh. See, how cool is that? Look at that thing. Look at how cool that looks. Look at it go. Just look at it go. Look at all these giant Daedric chains. Eesh. Alright, well, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna go. Oh, here we go. Escape to Tamriel. Goodbye! Goodbye! And here we are. Whoa, what the? What the hell? Oh, okay. Alright, that was confusing, because uh, uh, I'm an Argonian this time. Last time I was a wood elf. Uh, and we end up in different areas, depending on what uh, uh, what faction you're a part of. Which is fun. I like that. But <laughs> I just appeared inside of someone's house. <laughs> How am I going to explain that at the front door? <laughs> oh, sorry, I just got back from a plane of oblivion, you know, got blasted here. Sorry about that. Yeah, like, they're gonna believe that. They're gonna call the guard on me right away. What am I gonna do? Alright, so, uh, like I was saying about those, uh, those anchors, they provide, uh, random instances in the world, uh, where you can go and, uh, with a bunch of other people, hopefully, because the monsters that it spawns are very powerful. Uh, and you have to uh, defeat them and then destroy that part of the anchor so that it won't uh, it uh, won't bring our plane into oblivion, which is the goal of those anchors. Isgrimoire must be watching over you, friend. You shouldn't be alive. Where am I? Bleak Rock Island, off the coast of Skyrim. Oh, okay. So we start off the coast of Skyrim in this one. Cool. Okay, this is interesting, because uh, apparently this faction starts out, like, uh, summoned back near Skyrim, uh, whereas uh, the Wood Elf and uh, the those guys, they kind of start out in, like, what I believe uh, is supposed to be elsewhere, uh, because it's, like, it's a bunch of islands inhabited by Khaj uh, Khajiit, but it doesn't uh, necessarily say... I don't think in anywhere in the quest lines where you are, but this one actually tells me, hey, you're near Skyrim, so that's fun. Um, but seeing the uh, elsewhere architecture was really cool too. Uh, very interesting indeed. Let's see. I'm short on good health, 
and I could use someone capable. Let's go out into Bleak Rock Isle. Oh man. Oh sweet. I'm I'm just floored because like this is so drastically different uh, from the last place I was at. The last place I was at were sandy beaches and sunny and like stuff like that, uh, which is this is very cool. Um, but not off base for like an MMO like this uh, for different factions to show up in uh, different places or different races to show up in different places for that matter. That's kind of run of the mill. Uh, but I'm <laughs> I'm very excited because I'm a huge fan of the Elder Scrolls ser uh, like uh, trilogy series. No, not trilogy series. Um, I'm a big fan of it. So this is very interesting for me to see uh, two different places depicted in the MMO. Oh, God, this is awesome. Oh, look. There's a statue. Trilogy Snowborn. Uh, as you can see right now, this uh, the server is kind of empty. Uh, but the last time I played uh, it in this beta, it was very it was very full of a lot of different people. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be uh, when the MMO comes out. I'm not sure if there's going to be like servers that you can actually choose from uh, that you can go on to. I I assume so. Uh, that would make sense. And um, because a lot of the uh, the missions that are uh, available well were available to me at the time um were kind of full of people <laughs> being completed uh before i could ever even get to them like uh you were lucky if you got to uh if you got to complete a mission in like 30 minutes uh, like uh, just a short mission like put out two fires and kill three intruders it took so long the the places were just filled with people um which presents a problem, which hopefully will be addressed. Uh, one way is like uh, I, it, it seemed like, like the fire, like like I was saying, like there actually was a mission where you put out fires and then you uh, uh, kill some guys that were intruding on this town. Um, but they like the people weren't ooh an essence rune. Uh, the people uh, and the fires weren't instanced to each player; they were instanced to the entire like server. Uh, so. Uh, people were just taking them out, and um, and no one else would be able to do it unless you got like a lucky hit on uh, on one of the people that were uh, running around that you were supposed to kill, and uh, then it would count for you. Um, but it's it was just very hard to actually uh, get anything done or complete any weapon? missions. Um, something as but about these nonetheless. Uh, it, not all missions were like that. Uh, a lot of missions were uh, collecting things uh, like books that were instanced to every, like each person uh, that you could read and then uh, do the mission, uh, etc., etc. Um, so some things at the moment are instanced to uh, each player. Some things are instanced to the entire server. But uh, hopefully some of those issues will be uh, worked out before the uh, the MMO actually comes out um, officially. Oh, cool, we leveled up again. So let's see if I can get uh, another uh, point in stamina, and let's see if I can get another skill. Ah, I can't get Teleport Strike yet. That's unfortunate. I like Teleport Strike. Uh, but another one that's really cool is Shadow Cloak uh, for this class, which is really cool. Uh, it uh, just turns you invisible. So if enemies are attacking you, they will stop. Like, there's no going invisible, and they still know you're there. Uh, you go invisible, and you're gone. They're like, what? But the invisibility only lasts, like, 2.5 seconds. Uh, but that's good, uh, because I remember uh, back in the day, uh, you could drink, like, a, uh, a potion of, like, invisibility, and they'd still be attacking you uh, for a little bit before they realized, oh, shit, you're invisible, I can't see you. Um, but that might have just been my experience. I might have had a glitch. Which would explain a lot, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the archer uh, for uh, Archer Knight Blade for uh, in the uh, Elder Scrolls Online beta. Uh, it, everything looks incredible. It feels incredible, and it's just amazing. It's a great MMO. Uh, very, uh, it very in keeping with Skyrim. Uh, and uh, the rest of the Elder Scrolls fashion of uh, how they do quests and how, like, you would go and progress about your story. 
and it's very interesting to see everything like a thousand years before everything else happened. <laughs> as is with any story, uh, getting to see what came before is always just as interesting as seeing what uh, the main event is, um, which is what it seems like this uh, this MMO storyline is uh, kind of going for. Which is it? What the heck did I just kill? <laughs> I accidentally killed a rabbit. That's another thing that's really fun about the archer class. You can just shoot. You can just shoot and accidentally kill, like, mice and rabbits and stuff. <laughs> as far as the view, like, the the uh, first player, third player, uh, third person, not player, uh, first person, third person thing goes, it still has the uh, first person uh, view, so uh, <laughs> don't get discouraged just because I was in third pl uh, third person view there for most of this. Uh, I just prefer third uh, third person view uh, because it gives me 360 degree sight around my character model. Uh, it makes me feel a little bit uh, safer, <laughs> so to speak, because in uh, in first person view you can see in front of you, and that's a lot more immersive. Uh, in my well, it's a lot more immersive, but um, it also kind of puts me on edge. Hello, look at this. Oh, what? Oh, you can't kill owls? That's weird. You can kill everything else. Alright, so continuing on, let's uh, let's summon this dragon priest real quick. That'll be fun. That'll be interesting. Oh, cool, so this is like a dragon priest before they went all crazy and lichy. You dare summon me? Oh. Okay, well, he's still a douchebag. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about here is um, uh, random quests, uh, which are interesting, uh, which will show up uh, just out of the blue uh, with people with these black arrows above their heads. As you can see on my kind of map scroller, uh, the white arrow is where I'm supposed to be going, uh, and these little uh, l uh, black arrowed quests are little side quests uh, that are to the side of the main story. This person just came up to me and started squeaking, and <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh my god, I'm not a skeever. And so that's interesting. So she's like, follow me. And uh, I took the only logical route, and uh, and I went ahead and followed her. Uh, and what the heck is this wand, this gnarled wand? That's interesting. Uh, okay, so I picked up the wand, and i got to talk to her now. Let's see. You have it, my friend. What is going we were out on? hunting in the woods when a mad mage ran up and began throwing spells at us. Oh. I think he only nicked me. He dropped that wand in the snow as he left. I don't know how spells work. That's interesting. I tried picking up the wand, but it wouldn't let me. I think it does the spell, or undoes it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> okay, so, so her friends were turned into skeevers. Uh, by a mage <laughs> so you have to turn them back into people again oh that's funny <laughs> so so those are the random quests that'll just uh, that'll just kind of pop up from time to time uh, so that's interesting uh, I've never had one quite like that before <laughs> oh my god all right, but uh, with that, I, I kind of went a little bit further. I saved one of those guys from uh, being a skeever for the rest of his life, uh, so I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling very good uh, at heart and uh, very fulfilled. So, um, but uh, just as some uh, final impressions, uh, I I very much think that this is an MMO that is uh, that is worth playing, that is worth uh, putting your money in for, and that's coming from a guy who's burnt out on MMOs, like I've said. Uh, it very much retains the Elder Scrolls feel uh, as far as the uh, as far as the world, the architecture, and the uh, kind of the quest setup. Uh, it is uh, it does have the MMO type setup, like the classic MMO type setup that you'd uh, that you'd expect, where you do a quest, you get some gold and some uh, get some armor, you do a bunch of quests, like it's just a bunch of ch quest chains together. Uh, but it doesn't uh, feel grindy. Uh, which is good, which is really what kind of uh, got my attention. It doesn't feel like you're grinding for that next piece of armor. It doesn't feel like you're grinding for that next weapon. Um, 
it just feels like uh, because it has the one main quest line and then it has all these other like optional quest lines, it just feels like another Elder Scrolls game, which is uh, an incredible achievement in my opinion. All right, and if, if you enjoyed uh, what you saw here, uh, you can buy the game when it comes out uh, on April 4th. Uh, or if you have an, uh, an Xbox or a PlayStation, the, uh, the demo uh, for those systems are coming out a little bit later. Their dates have not been announced, uh, but you can try out the game yourself if you're a console player. Uh, but um, yeah, so the full version of the game is coming out April 4th. So I, uh, I will definitely try to support it. Uh, but that'll wrap up this impressions video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you so, 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 so very much for watching. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. I, you dirty casual. Oh, now you've gone too far. We're going to have to fight in a field. In a field? Specifically, yeah, we're going to have to find one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't that the rules of engagement? We live in buttfuck Egypt, bro. I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to find it, but me and That's true. I mean, we could just go over to an Amish house. We can go They'd understand.